you famously said, you know, I no longer think you should learn to code. This led to a bit of an online hoopla on uh, Hacker News. What is your perspective? Like, I have a three-year-old daughter, I have a one-year-old son. Like, should they learn to code, or should we just forget about it? I kind of made my personality for the past you know, decade in Silicon Valley about being the learn to code guy. I was the first engineer at Code Academy. We taught 50 million people how to code. At Replit, we had, uh, we had 100 days of Python. And, and we always envisioned the world where, hey, coding and software is really powerful. More people should be able to do it. I think it transforms how people build businesses, creates more entrepreneurs. Enterprises become a lot more efficient once you have more people coding and making software. The, the problem is, Coding has been the bottleneck, right? And so you can do, you can at the margins make coding easier. Ultimately, ultimately people don't want to learn how to code. Not, not, <laughs> not everyone. Coding, coding is too hard, basically. Not just coding Headline. is too hard. Here, I'll make, a, I'll make a, another controversial Okay, statement. all right, all right. I will say that there's a certain mindset, perhaps it is even innate property where some people can really think in code, others can't. Okay. And, and that's true across the different gradation of code. So, you know, 100 years ago, people were coding in machine code. Not many people in the world can do machine code. <laughs> you have to be a scientist. And then Grace Hopper said, you know, I want to invent a compiler so that people can program in English. That was like 100 years before uh, Karpathy said that. <laughs> but, but, and then people were up in arms about it. You know, pitchforks, you know, Grace Hopper, you're evil. You can't make it so that people can't code in machine code because they need to understand every bit and flip and whatever. Now, the low-level programming is the high-level uh, programming languages. And so we're just on this continuum of getting more and more people to use computers the way they were intended to be. Computers are these amazing, powerful, programmable machines. Most people are consumers of these machines. I think the, you know, Alan Kay said the, the computer revolution hasn't happened yet, and it's true, but now it's happening. Now everyone can be a programmer.